Today I'm going to show you how you can insert an equation into Google Slides and use other math symbols in Google Slides. So what you want to do is, let me move that up a little bit, what you want to do is add an add one. I don't know. It should be built in, but it isn't. There are actually two add-ons that you can use, Hypasia or MathType. Actually, there are more than two, but those are the two that I use. So I like Hypasia. Yours is not going to be right there. You have to first go to Get Add-ons and then look it up. So Get Add-ons, and then once this loads, you just type in Hypasia, and it'll show you what to do. Mine is being very slow. Okay, there it is. So you have to do search apps, Hypasia, and it'll find it, and then you just have to install it. So notice it has that it works for slides, docs, and um, forms. So Hypasia is here. Just follow, go ahead and get rid of these text boxes that are defaulted. And I'm going to go to add-ons, click Hypasia. There's a full editor and a mini editor. I use the mini editor the most, but I'll show you the full one to start. I promise it goes faster <laughs> when I'm not creating a video. It's just slug speed. Okay, so here it is. The reason I like the mini editor is because the full one um, is just kind of big and I can't see what's behind it. But either way, I type a lot of fraction equations. Um, I'm going to make this bigger for now so I can see it. So I just click the fraction button and I can do X over 3 and then click over to the right and add 10 to that. So if you've ever used... Desmos is like similar to using the calculator in Desmos. Okay, so I just typed a full equation. So all you do next is insert. And what's going to happen is it's going to insert an image of the equation. Okay, so we got to exit out of this so we can actually see it. So it's right there. I'm going to scoot it over. And you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, whatever you want to do. So I'm going to do Command D to du duplicate it. I clicked the wrong one. It's a little laggy. Okay. So I just duplicated it. What we can do now is we can go back to Hypasia. I'm going to do the mini editor. So it'll be over to the side. And then we wait ever so patiently. All right, so that's the quick start guide. I don't need that. I know what I'm doing. So notice I have that second one selected and it's showing up over here. Well, I want to change it. I want to make this one minus and then I want to make this a five and then I'm going to make this a negative one and then I'm going to click update. So now we have a new equation. So what I don't like about using equations in Google Slides is that you can't change the font, but I mean, it's the math that's most important. So that's an example of how you can set up an equation. And you'll notice there are a lot of other tools within Hypatia that you can also use, but that's how you can insert one. Oh, and let me show you how you can do like a division symbol. So I'm just going to go to the full one again. So if you want like all the features, then you have to be in the full one, like most things. The mini one has fewer options. Okay. Um, do not show again. Stop bothering me. So you'll see you've got pi, you've got exponents. Um, so once you click that, you'll see the options that you have. If you're, you know, 
geometry teacher, calculus, algebra. All right, so in here is where you'll find all the good stuff. All right, so you've got your inequality symbols. You've got your um, division symbol. That's hard to come by. So this is awesome. So say we want to do five is... greater than or equal to x. There you have one. Say you want to do, 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 oh yeah, so if you press enter, hold up. If you press enter, it'll try to give you a multi-line. And you can choose where you want to align it, so you can play around with that. But anyways, um, you can do one math thing at a time, but I just want to show you this too. So all the options you have, you've got arrows, under pi you've got other Greek symbols, over here, you've got measurement things, pretty cool. Some grouping symbols, matrices, things that I don't teach. <laughs> and then you can change your color. So let me show you something. Um, if we, say we, no, I don't want an image. If I have a shape and I have it selected and I go to my add-on, and I go to Hypatia, and I go to, let's go to the mini editor this time. Okay, so the mini editor will open. I'm gonna go down. And notice how the box is blue in the mini editor. So say I wanna do 2x plus three equals 10. Insert. So look, it gave me a white equation because it saw that I had a blue background and it figured, oh, well, she probably wants a color that will actually show up in there. So yeah, if you want to do like colorful boxes, you can do that. And I would put the equation there and then actually group that together so it would move if I was doing like a movable shape of some sort. 